I never say anything that I don't mean. And that has been a beautiful gift and often held against me because I'm so earnest in what I say. Um, there are people who jump on political, monetary as well, bandwagons, because it's the trend of the month. You know, it was International Women's Day the other day. I think we shouldn't have a day. I think we should have every motherfucking day, right? It's, it's Black History Month, and then they give you an Asian month. I don't think we need just one. I think that is small, and I think that is limiting, and that is accepting that that's all you deserve, and that's all you are worth. And once you accept that, that's the hole in the box you keep yourself in. Costume designers used to be so much bigger. I mean, I spoke of Edith Head. She used to have an office in the largest, you know, there are levels in society and there are levels in offices. Where are the costume designers, let's say at Sony? They're in the basement. There's no lights. It's called uh, the snake pit for many decades. Uh, often, <laughs> there are atrocities that happen with the plumbing system from the septic tanks that rain down upon costume designers. My assistant designer, Amy Paris, who is now part of Stranger Things, just the other day says the story she tells about me is these heavies from <laughs> Sony coming to yell at me while I'm Masters of Sex after poop, human excrement was raining down on my team and they had to hire hazmat people to clean it up and they were yelling at me for having a candle lit. And supposedly, and the story is not supposed that it's true, I said there was about 12 men who came to make their position known that I was doing something wrong. And I said, shame on you. You're all pussies. That word came out. And I guess that became like the Joan Crawford, don't fuck with me fellas. But I was so in shock that they couldn't see what they were doing to my human beings. Working for them in a snake pit under the editors, okay, when we used to be way up top in natural light, which is essential for what we do. We can barely get a fluorescent bulb, which doesn't equal natural light anywhere you, anyway you look at it. Do I want equal lighting for all departments? Hell yes. Do I want to be understood and respected even more than money? That's the most important thing to me. If you disrespect me, you don't see me. Do I want costume design and costume designers to be seen? Hell yes. Do I want as much money as my DP sisters and brothers when we are one fifth of the frame? Hell yes. Why don't we have it? We're not taken seriously. It was considered women's work. As far as I've seen, you have mostly men on your costume design uh, library, online library. It's time for us to be taken seriously. You know, I say we're one fifth of the frame because it's the actor in the costume designer's clothes filmed by the DP in a surrounding, which is production design, directed by the director. Why aren't we at least part of that one-fifth of the frame? We're not. But I think what's happening is the dehumanization of all of us. It gets harder and harder to see what we do when you are negotiating or meeting on Zoom. You don't have the time or the luxury of looking up someone's work to see where they've been. You just want to know how cheaply you can do it. And if you can't do it for less than what we tell you, there'll be a young one coming up who could do it for half. I've been told that for half. 
who will work for half the rate. Is that okay? You tell me. As a producer or a director, would you allow your son or daughter to work for half the amount and feel okay about their life? on a day-to-day -day basis, working all these hours. Costume people work longer than everybody because we're the last to go home. We have to clean everything for the next day. We have to dye something, we have to mend something, whatever it is. So do I have an opinion? Yes. And is it a shame that I have to keep talking about it? Yes. I'm 58. You know, many people retire when they're 65. Okinawans don't believe in retiring. My mother asked me for a job last year after she lost her job at a museum. She's like, I can knit. You need gloves? I can knit. But I'm doing it for myself and for my self-respect. If there's money, all the better. Money is currency. Money is power. I don't care about money. I don't live that way. More money means you mean the same equally to the other people in the room who are contributing to the frame or not. There's no in between, is there? There's a yes, you're making the same or no. Why? I just want to know why, why should I make less? Like answer that, tell me. And so one of the first jobs I got I can't say which one or when. I spoke to a woman producer for four hours. Uh, it was a Zoom interview. And I said, you don't want to, there's very few women producers, but <laughs> so we don't want to narrow it down by proxy. But I said, you're a woman of color. And it's really important for me to not go backwards in my life and to not fight, because we're already going to fight because you guys will not have the money you need for costumes. You'll give it to all the special effects people first. And if there's any money left over, you'll give it to production design. But somehow building build in buildings, even though it may, ne may not be a huge part of the story, equals more money to you than the people you see in the frame for the whole time, right? Or they'll be naked, as we say. So I said, I need to make the same amount as your production designer, or I, we can't talk anymore. Big, big gamble. And she said, okay. And I found out in the end, and I think it was a good decision on their part, I made more then. Because, not because I'm better, my work was going to be better. My work was going to be not better than that person. I was going to give more. I was not going to just be a costume designer. I was going to do the research. And by hook or by crook, I was going to make sure that it was something new. And I, I did that. Did it make some enemies? Probably. Because nobody likes to see a woman make more than a man. And a woman of color? They really don't want to see it. But I hope by the time you edit this, and maybe in a year or maybe two years, it's not even a thing. It's not even something as a question. And until it isn't, I want to keep preaching because it's not changing. So I'll, the bird, the little bird will shut up when the alarm stops. And the alarm will stop when there's no need or cause for alarm. You know, that's it.